Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Hey. Um, sir, you told me to pick up something from the mall. Yes, I asked you to pick up some things from the mall. Did I ask you to spend the whole day there? Did I ask you to sleep there? I'm sorry, sir. It's just that the crowd... I don't care, okay? I don't care and I don't want to hear all these excuses. I don't want. Your references and mistakes are about to make us lose our customers. Seriously. So you have to come back to the office in 10 minutes. And if you don't get here in 10 minutes, consider yourself fired. Just fire yourself from there if you don't come back in 10 minutes. I'm sorry, sir. I'll, I'll be there. Surprise birthday gift. You know Frank is full of surprises, right? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about surprises, babe. Um, why don't we spend a day or two at um, a hotel? Yes, maybe um, Four Point or Intercontinental <laughs> or Sheraton. What do you think, babe? Doesn't matter. Remember, you just proposed to me it's my birthday, so I can have whatever I want, do whatever I want, even if I want sex in the office. I am but not now. Today's your birthday, so you can take the day off. Right? <laughs> okay. And um today's your birthday. Mm -hmm. You can have this. Go get yourself a very beautiful girl, a very beautiful one. Wow. And then mm. we'll go to the best place. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, Sheraton. Yeah, Sheraton. Uh, excuse me, sir. How dare you badge into my office without knocking? I I didn't badge into your office. I I was knocking, but you didn't hear me. I guess you're too busy. Too busy. Anyways, baby. Um, I'll see you later. And. Share it in it is, okay? Oh, okay.
who could this be? I'm sure this can't be any other person than Frank. supposed to be at work? Yes, but I was on official assignment out of the office so I decided to come see you for him to, to scold me about the engagement, right? Maybe. I know that's the only thing going on in your mind that you wish I never talk about, but that's the truth, baby. Which is being straight, fair, and truthful with your relationship. I'm a bit confused here. Is there something you want to tell me about Frank? Oh, no. Nothing at all. Um, so, what's the plan? Are you going out with Frank tonight? No. I'm actually going to be in line with Barry. I was about doing that before you came in. Mm -hmm. All right then, no problem. I'll have to go right now. Good luck, then, the girl. Thanks for stopping by. All right, take care. Ciao. Bye. It's so beautiful, babe. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's actually a bit depressing. I guess it's from Frank, right? Frank? No. Um, then who? Anonymous. The card said, call me. So, have you called the person? No. Um, I think you need to take your time and call them one after the other. And please, do not sell yourself out. And remember to take off your ring when you go online with Barry. Hey dear. Make sure you call me when you're done. Okay? I'm good to know about everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll go get the dog. I need to tell you. Um, no, no, actually. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, thank you. <clears throat> wow. I think I should let the two of you be. It's okay. <laughs> All right. It's fine. <laughs> wow. It's fine. See how beautiful you look, huh? <laughs> Come here. You know what? Why don't you drop that off somewhere really, really safe? I have a pleasant surprise for you tonight. Okay. And then I'd like for you to wear one of your finest numbers. Because I know you look really good, I trust you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> So I brought you out here so that you and I can have a special evening together. It's your special, you remember? You see, that's the thing with the smile on your face. It's, it's, it's so alluring. You know, I could stare at you all night. Really? Yes, I could. Okay. And shoes! 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 You think I'm kidding, right? I've, I've heard thoroughly how you play around when I'm around with bitches. Like, bitches! Like, I've, 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 I've had it up to here. Like, I'm so done, okay? Why are men so shameless? What's going on? Did you just say something? Bitch, I'm talking to my man. Like, he's using you. Who did you call a bitch? Now, 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 now I'm, now I'm gonna lose it. Like, I'm gonna freaking lose it. Did you just talk to me, bitch? Are you sick? Who the hell is this filthy thing? Did you bring me here on my bed to harass me? What kind of nonsense? Who is sorry? I, like I what is this? This isn't what I'm brought up for in this relationship. This Please, is not it. You're like, creating a scene. Please, can you just who cares? Is this for real? Like who freaking cares if I create a freaking scene? Are you who cares? sick? Who are you crazy? Who? Are you are you, are you stupid? Are you to be right, 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 Baby, I love you with every piece of me, darling. Please, I want your face to be the face that I see every morning when I wake up. I want you to be the center of my world. I want you to get on this endless journey with me and be my wife. Please, my love, to say yes. Crazy, I know. I'm just so crazy about you. Just say yes. Oh, no, that's I. Yes. <laughs> Are you silly? I know. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness, baby. Hmm? What? Baby. Yes. Thank you for today. You're welcome. You know, I really had a nice time. Thanks for everything. Thanks for showing me the love and the care. You are loved, darling. <laughs> I know. <sighs> Thanks for the gifts. And most especially, I loved it. I'm glad you do. <laughs> Thanks, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> I am glad that I have indeed made your day very special. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yes, I think you can say that again, that again, that again, that again. I'm so excited. I'm happy you are. <laughs> um, so, um, so, where's the car key? Key? What car? What key? You, you already have a car, right? 
So what? So if you, if you want another one from me, I think it's best it comes as a wedding gift. What do you think? That way it's perfect and untimely. Huh? Hey. The car outside, who gave it to you? I'm not telling you. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, you have to tell me. I'd like to know who gave it to you. No, I'm not telling you. Do you know what I've waited this long? I've been waiting all day just for you to ask that question. No, but you didn't. It just shows how little you care. Later you say, I love you, I care about you, I support you, I will protect you. You don't even give a damn about me. You know what? This just shows the kind of husband that you're going to be when you get married to me. What are you talking about? Of course you know I care about you. I can't believe he's not the one that gave me this car gift. I wouldn't have honored his invitation if I had slightest idea that he's not the one. I have disappointed Frank and I've kept Barry beating online. And something tells me Frank might be the one behind this. Maybe one of his usual surprises and... Hey, babe. Come on, I look, I'm sorry, okay? Look, I didn't look around, I didn't pay attention when I walked into your premises. Besides, you're not the only one who lives there. That car could have belonged to any of the residents. Please. Uh, Chooks, <clears throat> please, don't come up with all these excuses. That car was parked right in front of my own apartment. So don't tell me that. You, you, Josh, you just proved the kind of husband you're going to be. You know, that's not true. Oh, go on, no, don't talk like that. Hey, mm. you know, I'm going to be a great hobby. Look, don't push this, okay? I said, I'm sorry. No, no problem, no problem. But we are not going to ever talk about it again. Mm, that's not fair. We will talk about it. No, we won't. That's not fair. No, we won't. Mm, come on. Leave me alone. You don't want mm? No. As a wedding present, I promise you. Hmm? What would you like? You want a Ferrari? What do you want? Eh? Hmm? We'll talk about it. Sorry. I've been sleeping. My phone is so silent. Don't tell me you're still on bed by this time of the day. My dear, it's Saturday and we don't work on Saturdays. So yes. Oh please, come and open your door, Joe. I've been knocking since. Really? Yes. So sorry, I'll be there in the chief, okay? I'm waiting. Hey. Hey. You're up? Yeah, um... I need to go home. My friend is waiting. She needs to pick something from the house. It's not a problem, man. I could drop you off. Oh, okay, cool. Um, 
Don't tell me that you're going out on a Saturday. Oh, no. Nothing serious, actually. I'm picking up a friend who just came into the country. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just arrived from the US. I just get him from the airport and that's it. Well, you didn't tell me about him. Don't mind me. He just never came up. All right? But um, I'll make an introduction as soon as he gets here. Okay. All right? And now that we're talking about it, um, would you like to make us something really nice, you know? So while I make an introduction, he can also experience your culinary skills. <laughs> okay, not a problem. I'll be back quickly to fix you something. No problem. I'm sure by the time you get back, I will be with my slippers. Okay. Yeah. So I'll drop you off and then I have to go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank your God that we didn't meet you at home yesterday evening. We would have turned this house upside down. Do not mind her? She just points out plans and surprises. Surprises? What surprises? Listen, I feel like I've had enough surprises that it's becoming an embarrassment. Mama, shut up! Hello, shut Where are you coming from? Who is that man that you celebrated your birthday with? Everybody was calling your phone, but you turned it off. Ask your one. Huh? Please, don't even bring me into this. I tried calling her phone severally, and she refused to pick up until her phone went off. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me understand this. The reason why you girls were looking for me was because you wanted me to have fun, right? Mm -hmm. Trust me. Ella had loads and loads of fun. <laughs> I'm yet to understand mm. you. How? The idea of parking the car outside with the notes on it is to stir up your curiosity, to make you call people to find out who is behind the surprise package. But you flood it up. You've not called anyone up till now. I'm sure the person that bought the car is tired of waiting. Here, mm. have your key. Who brought this? Shh. Don't say anything. You know what, girl? Your birthday celebration is all about surprises. Mm -hmm. So stand up. Go in there and dress up because we're going to make you have fun today. Stand up, let's go and wash your car for you. Yeah. It's yeah. your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go.
married to. Are you serious? Do you know how long I have known that woman? I've been in love with that woman. Proposed to marry her before you mentioned the fact that you were coming home to get married. Choose. I told you about this woman first, man. Stay away from my woman. Look, I don't want to see you anywhere close to her. Not this inch. Enough. If I see you close Marry, to her... You're threatening me. It's not a threat, man. Enough, guys. <laughs> you're threatening me. Guys, please, enough! You guys should stop crying over Ella. She's our friend. We need to go meet her downstairs and talk to her. Let's resolve things. There is nothing to resolve here. She's mine, all right? She's not yours! No one! It's mine! You hear me? You can't have her. I'm just so lost. She's mine. I'm just one. Stay away from her. Stay away from her. You better watch your back, man. I'm coming for you, man. She's mine! Please, please, it's okay. Take it easy. We'll go talk to Ella and get back to you, please, okay? Right. I'm coming with you. No, 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 that's not a good idea. Please, just be right here. We'll be back. We're coming back now, Have you forgotten that you asked me to come prepare food for you and your friend that is coming in from America? I'm afraid you can't do that with that ring on your finger. Oh, this? Uh, okay. Settled. So what, you know, want to keep both rings now? Oops, that's two. No, it's actually three. You know what, I'm just going to change and, you know, make that delicious meal for you next for Three men all at once. Really? Yeah. Are you intending to marry three men all at once? Is that even possible? What is going on? What are you doing? What's your plan? What, what are you up to? If not to cook for my starving man. Anyways, I'll be in the kitchen. Oh. 
upwards. But there is something not right about your coming here. Something like what? You don't come here pretending that you want to cook for me after accepting and I give my ring from my friend and you walk into my house. And then you act like everything's alright. I can tell that you're up to something. Something like what? Baby, can't you see? Can't you see that you're the one that I love? You're the one that I want to be with. You're the man of my dreams. Do you see that I love you, baby? And I know that you love me too. Come on, baby. Come on, darling. Sorry. Trust me, I didn't see this coming. I didn't know that Barry was going to come all the way from the States to propose to me. I thought he was just having fun over the internet, just the way people speculate that no one takes anyone serious over there. Isn't it absurd or weird that a woman will get engaged to three different men at the same time? That's strange, but that's not what you did. That's exactly what I did. Eh? I got engaged to three different men in two days. Ella, you did what? Hey! That's totally absurd. Ella, accepting three engagement rings from three different men in a stretch. <laughs> Girl, that doesn't speak well of you. The society will shun at you. Had you irresponsible, and you will not have anything to say in defense. Exactly. Unless you're playing some games, and now you're stuck up in a corner and shut off skills. Me, I'm not in support of this kind of game you are playing. It will only destroy you. You know what? I think I've had enough of this discussion. Both of you should please just leave my house. Hmm? You heard me. Are you saying we should yes. leave? Yes. Ella. Asking us to leave your house will not solve your problem. We are here trying to help you solve the situation. Anyway, if you insist we should leave, no problem. We'll leave your house. Beverly. Beverly. I don't even know what to do anymore. I... Trust me, I feel bad. Barry and Chips are two people that matter in my life. They have invested in me that I can't even say to any of their demands. You know, how I wish that Chips had gotten married to me before Barry arrived. He wouldn't have been able to propose to me anymore. But you know what pains me the most? What hurts me the most is the fact that I'm the one who has come between two 
close childhood friends. Ella. This... Uh, I don't even know what to do. How did I get myself in this mess in the first place? How? Oh. It's not your fault. Yes, it is. No! It's not your fault that none of them never mentioned each other to you. Stop killing yourself, okay? It's not your fault. Don't worry, we'll find a way around this problem. Everything will be okay. Don't worry, let's go in. Everything will be fine. Okay? Don't kill yourself over this. Let's go. So I don't think it's possible. She just kicked me out of her house. What? She's upset. I don't know. About what? I don't know what's wrong with her. She just, she's, just, she's not in the mood at all. I don't know. But she's okay. Uh, maybe, I guess. All right, let me still see her. So I don't think she'll open the door for no me. No worry. Yes? Oh. How did it go? <sighs> what happened? <laughs> Barry, Ella has changed a lot. She said she's no longer the Ella I used to know. See, I don't think she's worth all this time. And I don't like the drama building up around her. Wait, wait. Did she tell you she doesn't want me anymore? <laughs> it would have been better if she had said so than to be keeping everyone in the dark, including me. She can't even confide in me. For real? <laughs> Ella. Barry, I think you should check out of the hotel. Let's go to your house and announce your arrival. You'll be surprised at the way girls will be tripping in your house. And you'll make a choice of a wife. You know I'm not cut out for that, Beverly. And that's definitely not my reason for coming to the country. Look, if I check out of the hotel, I'm flying back to America, straight up. For real. Look, there's something about Ella that I've seen that you've not seen. And until you see it, you understand why I left all the girls in America to come back here for her. The truth is, in my heart, Ella has grown to be more than that friend of yours you introduced me to. I don't know, but I think she's my wife. It is Ella or nobody. I can't give up on her. 
I have to see her parents. Her parents? Yes, her parents. Mm. <laughs> What is happening? Ella's phone has been switched up for three days, three whole days, and I have not been able to hear from her or from anyone close to her. I regret ever leaving her house that day without insisting on seeing her against all odds. What kind of sickness will make her not want to see me or see anyone? What? Is it that the sickness became so serious for her not to be able to use her phone? To at least call and explain why she has not been to work for for two or more days. This is really colors. Come to my office in a Alright then. Right. <sighs> yeah, good day, you are. Did Ella tell you anything? I mean, does she give you any reason why she has not been to the office for the past two days? Um, I wouldn't know, sir. You wouldn't know? But she's supposed to be your best friend. And I mean, you guys are the closest in this company. So why won't you know her we're about or why she has not been to the office? Um, she has decided to keep to herself ever since she got a second engagement. I don't know what. Um, nothing, sir. Um, I heard she's not feeling too well and she had decided to stay away from her friend because she doesn't want her friends to know her true health status. Well, I guess maybe she's down with some infectious disease oh, or something. Just, 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 you know. Now back to business. Who did the last supply together? Um, it was Ella and I, sir. What have you been there? And uh, who received it last week Friday? I did. You did. You received the report last week Friday. So can I get the report to me that way now? Please. Um, sorry sir, we are yet to prepare the report. I was thinking we were going to have it on Monday, then present it to you today, but I didn't know Ella was going to be absent for two days. You know, I'm sick and tired of these excuses. I'm sick and tired of them. I need that report. I need that report immediately. So you have to go under that report and bring it to me today. Before the end of today, I want to see that report. Is that clear? Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I can leave my office now.
that you and I can put an end to this confusion. You know, talk man to man. Yeah. Look, Barry, I understand how you must feel. Okay. And I know that right now you must think the worst of me, but I'm your friend. And that's why I've come to talk to you about this. Look. Before you ever mentioned to me that you were coming back home to get married. Ella and I had something going on. I already proposed to her. She accepted. We have plans. We're headed somewhere. And then suddenly you showed up and there is this confusion. Look, I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to find a way forward for you and I. All right. And in the light of that, I, 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 I came here with, with, with a check of nine million. Listen, listen, Barry. Do not misinterpret this. Okay. You're my friend. You told me a lot about this trip. And I understand that whatever kind of relationship you must have had with this girl must have cost you, you know, something. Time, money, sleepless nights, whatever it is. You told me clearly that your main purpose for coming back here is because of your woman. And I'm thinking that this amount here should be able to cover your travel expenses and every other kind of expenses you must have incurred while you are here. Listen, my friend, please, please. Accept this token from me. Okay, and just go back to the US. Let's 
let's pretend that this never happened and, and just carry on and, 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 you know, as friends that we are truly. Please. Thank you. You know, that's a voice of man with no self esteem. Voice of a betrayer with no regard or respect for friendship. You think you're wise? Chooks. Oh, you think you're wise? <laughs> really? You're a wise man now, right? I'll tell you what. You're so foolish to think that I, Barry, will give up my woman for a bathy sum of nine million. Ella is my wife, and nothing in this world will make me give up on her, not even your nine million. I'll This is um, Engineer Frank's house. Yeah, this is me, really Steve Frank's house. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. uh, Please, I want to see him. Okay. Who do I tell him is waiting? Fred, Fred Benson. Okay, I'll be with you. Thank you very much. What's your name? Uh, Frank. Frank Benson. Ah, okay. Ella's fiance and the manager in the company she works. Oh, my daughter's fiance. Yes, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Um, I, I'm seldom have people unannounced in my house, so that must be something that brought you here. Or is she supposed to meet you here? No, 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 sir. Oh. Uh, no. Um, she hasn't been to work for the past two days. And um, she has some very important documents urgently need in the office. Oh. Yeah, so she told me she was coming home for the weekend and she didn't get back to her house. I asked her neighbors and they said they've not seen her for a couple of days. And her phone has been switched off. So I decided to check up on her here. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. Okay, let me... Let me... Uh, Ella, Ella, Ella... Ella... What, what can I offer you? I'm not in Are I'm, you sure? I'm very good, sir. Very good. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Oh. That's strange. It's too stuff. Let me try. Okay, sir. Oh, excuse me a moment. Okay, sir. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yes. But are you okay though? All right, all right. Now aside that, there is a young man here in my house. He claimed to be the manager of the office where you work. Yes, but as a matter of fact, it's your fiancé because um, he said you are engaged to be married, which you never told me. Well, now the point now is that uh, he said there is um, an important document in your possession that the office needs quite urgently. And for, for the past two days now, they've been unable to get hold of you. And I'm wondering, how come you have become so indisciplined in your job? I see. I, I don't think um, you owe me any apology. Your apology should be directed towards the young man, your manager. And do that as soon as possible. Do you understand me? Okay. Ah, Fred. Welcome. I am sorry you had to go through all that trouble. But I can assure you that my daughter is on her way to the office right now. And uh, she will explain herself better when she sees you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Sorry. you very much. I really appreciate it. Good. <clears throat> Sir, Ella and I are working on something. Um, <laughs> when we're done, we'll come and see you. But before then, I'll have to come with my family as tradition demands. So, okay. <laughs> I'll have to take my leave, sir. That's good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. You take care of yourself. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. I will. I shall. All right, sir. Yes. I really appreciate it. All right. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Um, can I have um the keys to Ella's office? I need to pick up some files. Is she all about it? No. If she was, I won't be asking you for it. What I need to pick is very urgent. You know she doesn't like one entry in her office without her consent. That is what I'm asking. I know, but the files I want to pick up is very, very urgent. So. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Frank, what's the meaning of what you just did? Answer me. Who gave you the permission? to think that you can walk into my father's house and introduce yourself as my husband to me. Let me get this right. <laughs> so you think that I, Emanuela, Imi, Williams, will marry you? Is that what you think? I only accepted your engagement ring because I didn't want to make a mockery of you in front of our colleagues. But for you to think that I will marry a man like you who goes about sleeping with every female colleague in this company? Is that what you think? Oh, come to think of it, I'm sure you actually gave me this engagement ring because you're trying to get into my legs, isn't it? Well, my darling, I don't intend to do this this way. I don't want to see you in my father's house again, so you give your ring to someone else. You think you're smart? You think you're smart? You think this is the best way to cover your foolishness? Now, Ella, let me tell you. You know what? I used to think you, you're this responsible, well-behaved lady with a good or bring it. But no, you're just the same common girl out there. The same hustler. I mean, come to think of it. You getting married, getting engaged to two other men after me? Come on. So what do you think we will think? What would I feel? That Emanuela Amy, the daughter of the famous rich Fred. William's daughter is just a common, cheap hustler like every other girl on the streets. 
What would I think? You know what? I, I, I never thought of you, you know, falling for an engagement ring because of a house and a car. I never thought of that. You know? I never did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony Frank. You can say whatever you like about me. I really don't care. What matters most is that I just returned your engagement ring. And guess what? <laughs> I still have a chance to choose among those two men who I want. And you're definitely not one of them. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Sorry, I didn't notice you coming. Ah. I was busy admiring your house. <laughs> Everything is of high quality. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Listen, yeah. You know, quality is a, is a watchword for this. When this place was being built, I took my time to go around the world and, and shop for the best. For the best. <laughs> wow. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you. How come you do things like this? You have all this men coming to my house and constitute nuisance, all in the name of asking for your hand in marriage, without even informing me. Oh, okay, don't even bother to explain, okay? Just come home and come fast. Because if you are not here on time, 
I will have them thrown out of my house and then have them locked up in jail. Do you understand that? So I will advise you to go until I uh, stay with my daughter here. After which I will get back with you. So I will advise you gentlemen to go home at this time. And I can always get back to you at a later time. Well sir, there will be no need for that. I was the first to propose and got engaged to Eva here. In front of the entire staff of our company. And she accepted. She agreed. We decided to take a break to pick up a date to come and see you. So we'll get the remaining of the traditional rites. Before this young man walked up. So I keep wondering. I keep wondering why a lady, a young lady that just got engaged to her boyfriend, will still accept two more engagement rings from these guys. Well, I gave up the quest. I gave up the quest when I stumbled. Tell us. She was doing everything. Everything to distract us. Nothing new about this. What, what is that? So this is a file. Her file she gave me in my office. So. This is a... Uh... Hospital test result. Yes, that's our result. What we sell us? Is he unhappy? Yes, that I must have forgotten it in my office file. Uh, what? Oh my God! HIV one or two positive? Eh? Yes. HIV positive? Yes. yes. Send us the result. God forbid that this does not belong to me. Oh. This is impossible. Frank, where did you get this from? This cannot be my result. Daddy, he's lying. This is not my result. Frank, don't, where don't, did don't, you don't get this from? This is not my don't result. Don't tonight. I know you're scared. Look at it. Is that not your result? Was it tampon? Then I touch it. I know you're scared. I know you're scared of losing this man. You're scared of losing this guy. I know you're scared of losing your job. I know you're also scared of being stigmatized. But now you just have to tell us the truth. The truth, the whole truth. The truth will set you free. Frank, you're lying. Well, gentlemen, I am sorry. I'm sorry for all she must have done to you guys. I beg to take my leave. Frank, you know that you are lying. Sort yourself. You know you're lying. He's lying. He's, he's lying. Joseph, <laughs> do not even get an inch close to me. Barry, you believe in him? It's highly positive. Barry, Joseph, look. You're a disappointment. I never knew you could be this dangerous. You know, thank God this whole thing can get beyond this. Joseph, it's not true. Can we just leave this place? It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. This is not true. This is not true. This is not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not
Let's leave now. Harry, Harry, we can't just live like others. Let's just wait a while and talk with Ella. That Frank of a man could be lying, you know? Drive. So where? Mopolaji Bakantoni. Would you? Oh, for sure. But after we must have finished talking to Ella, please. Beverly, now. There's nothing more to talk to her about. Come on, let's leave now. Listen, Ella, I know you're not going to try to be positive. You know, I suspect someone somewhere is plotting this evil just for a selfish aim. How do, how do I stop this news from going viral? How do I convince that, that I am not HIV positive? Don't even try it. Don't even try to convince me. Ella, you're a disgrace to this family. Why won't you contact HIV? You will. When you jump from one man to the other. And to think a young lady I brought up, I'm proud of as my daughter, will go as far as getting engaged to several men and sleeping with all these men. It makes me go crazy. But let me tell you something. If after all this test is done now, and I find out that you are HIV positive, I will disown you. I want you to know that. But can you just stop it? Stop it! You're the reason why I did what I did. Yes. And I do not regret it. I don't regret it one bit. Dad. Do you think Sophia's issue is forgotten? No. It's still fresh in my mind. Our mind. You're the reason why I got engaged to those three men. Yes. All I wanted was an assurance. Assurance till I'm sure to find out who exactly is serious. And that is why I got engaged to the three men. Yes. And that. That if you're looking for someone, if you're looking for someone or something that is to disown me with, Definitely not this, because I am not HIV positive. I didn't even sleep with any of those men. Stop. Ella, 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 I said stop right there. Ella, Ella. Ella, Ella, stop right there. Patrick, you are not going anywhere until the medical team will be here and prove to me that your health is okay. Hey, Patrick, you lock that gate and bring me the keys. Dad, what kind of embarrassment is this? Please, can you tell him to open the gate and let me leave? You think I don't know what you want to do? I know what girls like you will find themselves with such health issues can do. But I will never let that happen to you. You stay here. Bring me the keys. You stay in this compound here until the medical team prove to me that your health is okay. Dad! 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 Come on, Ella. Come on. It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. It's not no problem. It's okay. It's fine. Since Dad has decided that he's going to imprison me in my own father's house because of one unverified result, it's not a problem. I would wait for whoever he said is coming. No problem. No. <laughs>
Dr. Lisa, you're welcome. Thank you. Dad, you mean you went to the extent of bringing a doctor to run a test on Ella just to find out her HIV status? When would you get it to stop embarrassing your children and disgracing us? Why don't you just stay quiet and see what I'm doing, okay? I'm talking about embarrassment. Ella herself brought this upon us here. I was there minding my own business where her team of men came here and talking about engagements and sleeping with all of them and, and, and contracting HIV. What, what, what do you want me to do? I have, I have issue at hand. Ella is an adult for crying out loud. I mean, I was expecting you to have talked this over with her. Then you know what next to do. Instead of acting on hearsay to the point of locking her up in the house just to find out her HIV status. In this time and age, Dad. The doctor is there now, so that's, that's, that's by the way. I, I apologize on behalf of my daughter's yeah. doctor. So please, um, you only the next to you there is who's... Uh... No! Please, so Sophie, don't stop. Just allow him. Stop. There will be no need for that. Sir, I believe this is a deliberate move by our distractors trying to spoil our relationship and what we share. I want to marry Ella, and that's the only reason why I came back from America. I would suggest you send the doctor back to our hospital, because it will only look like we are trying to infringe on our rights. I trust Ella, and I will not give up on her, even if she's HIV positive as speculated. Moreover, sir, whoever is behind this will be brought to book, trust me. Thank you, son. Uh, Dr. Lisa. <sighs> well, um, I'm, I'm sorry I might have to uh, let you go at this time. So please return to your clinic. And I will get with you, uh, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. How long will you continue to cry over this like a child? After you should be thankful to God and to me for helping you to realize her health status. You forget how much I love her, right? You also forget how much I'm going to miss her. Right? That's true. You can go ahead and get married to her. At least you'll be satisfied that you married a dream woman. After all, it's just HIV. It's not an end to life. Look, Joe, I'm not. I'm, I'm in no mood for jokes. Right? Please, I'm not. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? Like, who's, who sees a beat and walks right into it? Hey, you are crying, lover boy. Someone at the door, just get it.
Who was that? I didn't find anyone there. I looked around and didn't see anyone, but I, I saw this note and this at the doorstep. Is your ring juice? It's very clear now that we sure don't deserve each other as you have moved on just because I am HIV positive. You once told me that love is about sacrifice and that nothing can separate us. But it's quite amazing and shocking to realize how an unconfirmed rumor of my being HIV positive just threw us apart. Then I hear. That's your beautiful ring that cost you a fortune. I would have really loved to keep it, but you can keep it for the next girl who well deserves it while I move on with my virus infected life. Confused. I don't know what to think. Reading that, something is not right, you know? Something is not right. Something like what? That note didn't sound like she's, she's infected with the virus. I don't know. Something is not right, but I have to find out. So what do we do? And I'm not going to do that by sitting down here. HIV positive. Are you denying it? Are you trying to deny it? Ella. Well, that's why I'm here. Now, this is my results. This result was taken recently. You know, immediately you left the house, a test was conducted and the result shows that I am not HIV positive. So tell me, Frank, where on earth did you get that result that said that I am HIV positive? Please, I would like to know. Where? Why is she asking? Oh, you want to blame someone else for your mistake, Madam Ella? 
Too bad you just exposed yourself. No, 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 girlfriend. You are the one who just exposed yourself. You know, I was thinking. I, don't wonder, I was wondering how come you came into my office without my permission. You came into my office, took my test result, doctored it, and you changed the result to HIV positive. You know, I just couldn't phantom it. I didn't think about it. That this is exactly what you were up to. Really? Just stop lying and stop trying to cover up your mess and deal with the fact that you are HIV positive. Really? <laughs> Unbelievable! Ava, did you tamper with Ella's result? I do not know what you're talking about. Excuse me. So who you just told me? Did you? Or did you not tamper with a medical result? Yes. Yes, I did. And that was because I was envious of her. Wow. Unbelievable. Yes. Please don't let him take me. Please. Officer, that's the culprit. Take her away. You mean you planned all this? You planned all this just to get a time and just to destroy our relationship? But I'm sorry, I don't I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, Can we leave now? Steph, please. Ella. Please get out. Don't you dare touch me! You should be arrested as well. What? Wonderful life. Yes, 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 yes,